For years we've been educating our patients about biomechanical stability and the need for appropriate footwear to enhance their orthotic control. Our patients are now demanding of us that we give them some form of sandal with orthotic control that allows them to enjoy the full aspects of their new lifestyle. Fortunately, our clinical partners, Langer Biomechanics, responded to this demand by providing us with a wide selection of appropriate sandals and were able to integrate functional orthotics into the manufacturing of these shoes. We dispensed quite a number of these sandals following a long spring and summer, and overall the feedback was surprisingly positive. As a result, we decided to do a little investigation ourselves to see exactly what positive effects the sandals were having using our video gait analysis system. Most of our biomechanical patients from the last year have pedigate video files stored of their barefoot walking. We then subsequently had the patients return and captured them walking in their previously owned flip-flops or sandals, and then finally in their custom-made orthotic sandals. The dozen or so cases reviewed so far have all had structural conditions producing significant compensatory pronation. Some demonstrated this immediately upon heel contact or at mid-stance or in some cases at toe off. What became immediately evident was that there was little or no difference in the gait patterns observed between barefoot and in comparison to wearing the non-prescriptive uh, off-the-shelf sandal or insole. One negative influence that was observed frequently was an increase in functional helix limitus and resultant abductory twist at toe-off. Immediately with the introduction of the custom orthotic sandal, the degree of visual compensatory pronation was dramatically reduced. In this case, the reduction was made even more dramatic with the inclusion of the calcaneal bisection. The improvements between orthotic sandal and non-orthotic sandal became even more blatantly obvious when using Pettigate's comparative software. Consistently, the orthotic sandals produced a foot that appeared more dynamic and propulsive with increased flexion visible at the big toe joint. Overall, this exercise has given us a significantly increased confidence in recommending and prescribing these sandals or devices to our patients. It is important to note that the introduction of an orthotic sandal is intended as an adjunct to ongoing orthotic management and used in enclosed footwear, not as a replacement for such tr treatment therapies. Finally, I'd like to say thank you as always to our clinical partners, in this case Petty Technologies and also Langer Biomechanics for their ongoing development of products and services. Thank you for listening.